The Fountain, by William Cullen Bryant. Fountain, that springest on this grassy slope, thy quick cool murmur mingles pleasantly, with the cool sound of breezes, in the beach, above me in the noontide. Thou dost wear no stain, of thy dark birthplace. Gushing up from the red mold, and slimy roots of earth, thou flashest in the sun. The mountain air, in winter, is not clearer, nor the dew that shines, on mountain blossom. Thus doth God bring, from the dark and foul, the pure and bright. This tangled thicket on the bank, above thy basin, how thy waters keep it green. For thou dost, feed the roots of the wild vine, that trails all over it, and to the twigs ties fast her clusters. There the spice bush, lifts her leafy lenses. The viburnum there, pallor of foliage, to the sun holds up, her circlet of green berries. In and out the chipping sparrow, in her coat of brown, steals silently, lest I should mark her nest. Not such thou wert of yore, ere yet the axe, had smitten the old woods. Then hoary trunks of oak, and plain, and hickory, o'er thee held a mighty canopy. When April winds grew soft, the maple burst, into a flush of scarlet flowers. The tulip tree, high up opened, in airs of June, her multitude of golden chalices to humming birds, and silken winged insects of the sky. Frail wood plants clustered round thy edge, in spring. The liver leaf put forth her sister blooms of faintest blue. Here the quick-footed wolf, passing to lap thy waters, crushed the flower of sanguinaria, from whose brittle stem the red drops fell like blood. The deer, too, left her delicate footprint in the soft moist mold and on the fallen leaves. The slow-paced bear, in such a sultry summer noon, as this stopped at thy stream, and drank, and leapt across. But thou hast histories, that stir the heart with deeper feeling. While I look, on thee they rise before me. I behold the scene hoary again with forests. I behold the Indian warrior, whom a hand unseen has smitten, with his death wound in the woods, creep slowly to thy well-known rivulet, and slake his death thirst. Hark, that quick fierce cry, that rends the utter silence. Tease the whoop of battle, and a throng of savage men, with naked arms, and faces stained like blood, fill the green wilderness. The long bare arms, are heaved aloft, bows twung and arrows stream. Each makes a tree his shield, and every tree sends forth its arrow. Fierce the fight and short, as is the whirlwind. Soon the conquerors and conquered vanish, and the dead remain mangled by tomahawks. The mighty woods are still again, the frighted bird comes back, and plumes her wings. But thy sweet waters, run crimson with blood. Then as the sun goes down, amid the deepening twilight I, discreet figures of men, that crouch and creep unheard, and bear away the dead. The next day's shower, shall wash the tokens of the fight away. I look again, a hunter's lodge is built, with poles and boughs, beside thy crystal well, while the meek autumn, stains the woods with gold, and sheds his golden sunshine. To the door the red man, slowly drags the enormous bear, slain in the chestnut thicket, or flings down the deer, from his strong shoulders. Shaggy fells of wolf and cougar hang, upon the walls, and loud the black-eyed Indian maidens laugh, that gather, from the rustling heaps of leaves, the hickory's white nuts, and the dark fruit, that falls from the grey butternut's long boughs. So centuries passed by, and still the woods blossomed in spring, and reddened, when the year grew chill, and glistened in the frozen rains of winter, till the white man swung the axe beside thee, signal of a mighty change. Then all around was heard the crash of trees, trembling a while and rushing to the ground, the low of ox, and shouts of men, who fired the brushwood, or who tore the earth with ploughs. The grain sprang thick, and tall, and hid in green the, blackened hillside. Ranks of spiky maize, rose like a host embattled. The buckwheat whitened broad acres, sweetening with its flowers the august wind. White cottages were seen with rose trees, at the windows. Barns from which came loud, and shrill the crowing of the cock. 
pastures were rolled and neighed the lordly horse, and white flocks browsed and bleated. A rich turf of grasses, brought from far or crept thy bank, spotted with the white clover. Blue-eyed girls brought pails, and dipped them in thy crystal pool. And children, ruddy-cheeked and flakes-and-haired, gathered the glistening cowslip, from thy edge. Since then, what steps have trod thy border? Here on thy green bank, the woodman of the swamp has laid his axe, the reaper of the hill his sickle, as they stooped to taste thy stream. The sportsman, tired with wandering in the still September noon, has bathed his heated brow in thy cool current. Shouting boys, let loose for a wild holiday, have quaintly shaped into a cup the folded linden leaf, and dipped thy sliding crystal. From the wars returning, the plumed soldier by thy side has sat, and mused how pleasant twere to dwell in such a spot, and be as free as thou, and move for no man's bidding more. At eve, when thou wert crimson with the crimson sky, lovers have gazed upon thee, and have thought their mingled lives should flow as peacefully and brightly as thy waters. Here the sage, gazing into thy self-replenished depth, has seen eternal order circumscribe and bind the motions of eternal change, and from the gushing of thy simple fount has reasoned to the mighty universe. Is there no other change for thee that lurks among the future ages? Will not man seek out strange arts to wither and deform the pleasant landscape which thou makest green? Or shall the veins that feed thy constant stream be choked in Middle-earth, and flow no more forever, that the water plants along thy channel perish, and the bird in vain alight to drink? Haply shall these green hills sink, with the lapse of years, into the gulf of ocean waters, and thy source be lost amidst the bitter brine? Or shall they rise, upheaved in broken cliffs, and airy peaks, haunts of the eagle, and the snake, and thou gush midway, from the bare and barren steep?